two heats in the women's 400s, well, semi-finals. They're both absolutely loaded. Amma Pippi leading the Brits out. But what are you expecting, Hannah, from Femke Boll in the first of the two semis? Mila Weibo going in the second. I think we should see much of the same as we did in the first round here for Femke Boll. She was so far ahead. I think she hopefully should manage that again if she's recovered OK. I think Stephanie Ann McPherson might be able to get on terms with her a little bit better than the athletes in her heat. But I, I really think, hopefully, business as usual for Femke Boll. The second heat for me, the second semi-final, looks really tough uh, for the women in that. So. Hopefully, hopefully we could uh, get all the favourites through to the final because that's what you want to see in the championships. Yes, we'd certainly love to have Mila Weibo against Boll in the final. Jenny Meadows is down there on the infield. Jenny, what was your sense from the crowd's involvement in that eventual disqualification of Peyton when initially it looked like being Perez? They weren't happy about that, were they? They weren't, and I've never experienced anything like that, you know. It was a lot of uh, great support to actually make sure that the right result was given. There's a lot of spectators in the arena now, probably because people have finished work, they've crowded into this arena, and the huge applause that was given when the right decision was made, it was really great to see. Well, they're a passionate, knowledgeable crowd. We knew that. The president of World Athletics said that would be the case. And they want to see justice served. They also want to see the very best athletes in the world. And that is what Shawnee miller Weibo is. She's in the second of the semi-finals, along with Justina Sweetie Ursatic, who is bouncing up and down. She's finished fourth twice in the world indoors. She is so experienced, the Polish athlete. And miller Weibo's she's going to need she's the favorite of course in that semi-final she needs a good start she does need a good start i read a great stat in between the two periods uh Cahill Dunhe wrote a great article and outlined their two set their two heats shawne miller weibo she went out in 1203 femke bowl 1247 so miller weibo got a fantastically fast start and then shut it down her last 100 was 14.47 femke bowl was 14.15 you couldn't have run two different races they both look re relaxed they both won but i think yes yeah, shawnee miller weibo she's much better at getting out there she's got that raw speed to get herself in front but femke bowl has got that speed endurance that is just another level uh, so if she's anywhere near any of the athletes in that last 100 meters ugh. I'd like to fancy Femke Bowl. But we're talking about the final before we've even got past the semi-finals, and that's not fair. Anything could happen. Let's see, Top three from each of the three. So no, nobody's interested in non-automatic qualifiers. This is first three past the post, and we're about to watch one of the world's informed athletes, aren't we? We really are. And as with Svoboda this morning, from Kibola doesn't look as relaxed, she doesn't look as smiley as she did this morning. She looks a little bit more focused. This is the semi-final of the women's 400 metres, fighting for a spot in the final tomorrow evening. We will talk you through the whole field for both of these semi-finals. As Rob's already said, three automatic qualifying spots. That's it. No non-automatic qualifiers on time. First three across the line. Make that final. Wouldn't Natalia Kazmarek like to do that? Two strong Polish athletes in these semi-finals. The first of them is Natalia Kazmarek. She won her heat really comfortably. She's going to come under more pressure, and that pressure could come from the woman inside her. Femke Bowl of the Netherlands, undefeated indoors over two years. 50.3 this season. Can she go faster? She might have to go faster if she wants to stake a claim to a medal. Stephanie Ann McPherson of Jamaica will be in lane four. So experienced. She's been around for years, but she keeps winning and she keeps picking up medals. Alaya Abrams from Guyana second in heat four pretty comfortable in that qualification lane two with Roxana Gomez four-time Cuban national champion she's the season's best to be a non-automatic qualifier into this semi-final 
completing the lineup in lane one, the first of our British athletes, Amma Pippi, second in the second heat, and she had a fantastic last 50 meters. Snuck through on the inside at her national championships to qualify here. Did something quite similar in her heat. So watch out for the British athlete in that last 50 meters. If anyone else has gone off too fast, she might pick them off. Three spots. What can you do to get into the top three here and give yourself one more competition at this World Indoor Championships? Set. The pole in six, Kazmarek, she controlled her heat from start to finish, adds the Femke Bowl. But already you can see Stephanie Ann McPherson has got a really blistering start. And just as I say that, Femke Bowl turns up that cadence just a tiny bit, but she's not got the lead she did in her heat. Femke Bowl easing round that bend, perhaps satisfied to give the lead to someone else, to let someone else get themselves out there to be shot at. It's Stephanie Ann McPherson at the moment at Jamaica, with Femke Bowl on her shoulder. But Femke Bowl is formidable down this back straight. Femke Bowl, will she glide past Stephanie Ann McPherson like she does? No. Stephanie Ann McPherson holds off the Dutch athlete. Femke Bowl will have to wait another 50 metres, and the athletes are lining up behind her. Stephanie Ann McPherson, she's floundering, she's swinging wide. Femke Bowl will have to kick again. Can she get back on turn to Stephanie Ann McPherson? Oh, she does. For me, Femke Bowl got her chest across the line just in time. Fast finish on the inside from, Kaz no, from uh, Alaya Abrams. I think that will be enough to make the final from Femke Bowl. But that wasn't the formidable Femke Bowl we're used to seeing indoors. Great run by Stephanie Ann McPherson, and the way Bowl came over the finish line was rather reminiscent of Shawnee Miller Weibo, the woman she'll be hoping to beat in the final, beating Alison Felix in Rio in 2016. And the Jamaican has taken it by two hundredths of a second. Alia Abrams ran really well for third. She was always slightly ahead of the back trio. I thought at one stage Kazmarek might begin to close the gap down the back straight. She tried, but it wasn't quite to be the pole finishing in 51.87. But look at Abrams here. Solid running on the curve in third, coming under a little bit of pressure from Kazmarek. Bol did not have that race all her own way, and I think she was feeling tension towards the finish line. She knew she was in one of the first three, so qualification wasn't an issue at this stage. She just stumbled there, and her momentum did take her across the line. Well, it, it was good enough for Mila Weibo in 2016. It's got Bol into the final, but she won't want to dip for the line quite like that. When the, uh, when the final occurs. But she's in it to win it, no matter how she got there. She hit her head as well, Rob. I don't like the landing there. That can really hurt athletes like that. A bit of whiplash, a bit of a knock to the head isn't ideal. You saw her try to make her trademark move down the back straight. But I think Stephanie Ann McPherson was waiting for it. She knew that was coming and she just absorbed it. And I think that really put the tension into Femke Bowl. And when you're desperate like that for the finish, it can be really tough. You can see there, that confirmed result. Stephanie Ann McPherson, season's best, 51-26, so experienced. Holding off Femke Bowl by two hundredths. Femke Bowl didn't get her whole body across the line, but she got that all-important chest across it. Alaya Abrams, area record. 51-57 to automatically qualify for that final well-judged run from the Ghanaian athlete. But that's going to take some recovering from for me, mentally and physically, for Femke Bolt. Well, whilst Femke Bolt was literally diving over the line, the women were beginning to emerge for the second of the semi-finals. If you were watching earlier, you may have initially seen Jessie Knight disqualified. She was pushed and ran on the infield, was initially DQ'd and then appealed, and she is in the semi-finals, in with a chance of trying to make the showdown. Needs to finish in the top three, and this semi-final is absolutely loaded. Knight will be on the, uh, the inside. 
Justina Sweetie Ursicic will be in three, Milowebo in five. Watch for Klava, who goes out unbelievably quickly for the Netherlands and then tries to hang on. McPherson, Ball and Abrams safely through to the final. Who's joining them? Justina Sweetie Ursicic, just off the podium in 2014 and in Birmingham four years ago. She's the World Indoor Tour winner. <coughs> Jesse Knight of Great Britain reinstated, starting in lane one. Shawnee Miller-Webo will be second from the outside the reigning Olympic champion. Jessie Knight just getting herself poised and ready. Really good crowd tonight. Looking forward to watching some of the very best in the world. And that is the bracket in which Shawnee Willowibo is regarded. So too, Sweetie Ursetic. Watch as well for this one, we haven't seen too much of it yet. Lika Klava of the Netherlands. Will she change those tactics of always going out really hard? This is a class lineup. Phil Healy on the outside. A run of genuine tactical astuteness to come through to the semis. Shawnee Milowibo. Very little racing indoors. Looked composed in her heat. Will it be the same in the semi? Lika Klava always starts unbelievably quickly and then has a desperate battle to hang on. Will she be a little bit more cautious, knowing that she's got unbelievable quality outside and inside in the form of Justina Sweetie Ursicic? A brilliant indoor performer, very popular here in Serbia. Sixth fastest in the world this year. Modesta Modeskaiti, five times a national champion for Lithuania. And on her inside, reinstated after initially being disqualified from the heats, Jesse Knight of Great Britain, semi-finalist in the European indoors last year. <laughs> Times are an irrelevance here. On your mind. This is about finishing in the top three and joining McPherson, Bolt and Abrahams in what could be one of the great finals of our three days of world-class athletics here in Belgrade. Watch for Milowebo second from the outside. There's Sweetie Ursicic, and in between them, Klava of the Netherlands, who always starts very fast indeed. Top three coming back for the 400 final. Set. Clean start and a big roar from the crowd. How we've missed audience participation. Miller Weibo already up on Phil Healy. Klava is giving chase, but even her lightning fast first 200 meters is not enough to get on terms with Miller Weibo, who has a gap of around four or five meters. Klava second, Sweetie Ursicic in third, Phil Healy in fourth, just alongside the Lithuanian. Miller Weibo now. Just beginning to ease back a fraction. Klava dragging Sweetie Ursicic back towards the Bahamian. Now she begins to pull away for the finish once more. This looks a very, very, very good piece of qualification from Miller Weibo. Sweetie Ursicic coming through for second. Klava takes the third spot. Sweetie Ursicic over the moon with that, brilliantly judged by her. But Miller Weibo, 51.4. The unofficial time, Sweetie Ursatic not too far behind. If we were looking for an indication as to who might be the favourite out of the two big names of Femke Boll and Shawnee Miller Weibo, Sweetie Ursatic does a jig of delight, confirming she'll be in the final again. I think Miller Weibo looks sensational on the evidence of that semi final. Miller Weibo looks great. She just totally controlled that race. I'm sure Lika Klava came into this thinking, is it really worth 
trying to fight it out with Sean O'Willa Miller Weibo over the first lap. It's, it's probably not. I'm probably going to overstretch myself and I'm going to pay for it in the last 50 meters. Salika so Klava, a really well judged race there. As did Shviti Ursatic. If you look at the race right now, she's running wide. That's pushed the Lithuanian athlete wide. If anyone's going to come past her, they're going to have to go far out into lane two. It wasn't necessary. Shviti Ursatic and Lika Klava had the legs to hold on to second and third. But some really astute racing there from Sviti Ursatic. Let's see what that means to her across the line. Could we see her finally pick up an individual global medal? But Shawnee Miller Weibo looks like she could have that pretty wrapped up. Simply superb from the reigning Olympic champion over 400 metres, Miller Weibo by a country mile. Sweetie Ursicic was over the moon with second, and Lika Klava, a slightly more cautious start. She was rewarded with a place in the final. She held on well. Confirmation of the full list of qualifiers for what promises to be a truly mouth-watering women's 400 metre final. Shawnee Miller Weibo looked flawless in her semi-final. Femke Boll crashing to the ground behind Stephanie Ann McPherson. I hope she's OK. She hit her head pretty hard across the finish line, but that's the duel we would be looking forward to if they're both in fine form and full fitness. Boll against Miller Weibo.